Indian Banking Payment Routing Codes Payment system in India has moved from a paper based system to a multiple electronic system in recent years, particularly in the last decade. Indian banking system has adopted different mechanism to identify and sort payment instructions or payment instruments and then route these instructions and instruments to respective bank branches may be of origination or of destination. Banks in India as well as the customers in India they make use of these payment routing codes for this purpose. The important codes among these are microcode, IFSC, SWIFT code, BSR and CBS related account numbers. In this video lecture we are going to see the brief of all these codes. So first of all we are starting with MICR code. MICR that is Magnetic Ink Character Recognition code. MICR technology based mechanized coloring system make use of MICR code parameters on the check. So whenever they have to undertake transactions in checks, so they make use of MICR code parameters on the check. It requires allotting of a MICR code to every bank branch which is encoded on the check. The MICR code structure is like this. So it has 9 characters. The first three characters they represent the city code. The next three characters they represent the bank code. And last three characters they represent the branch code. MICR is used by electronic clearing services in India for the purpose of identification, sorting and clearing the transactions. And MICR has been used for a number of years now and it has stabilized. Now second routing code is IFS code or Indian Financial System code. IFS code is an 11 digit alphanumeric code. So there are numbers also, there are alphabets also and in counting these are 11 in number. IFS code is based on the pattern of SWIFT and it conforms to SWIFT BIC. BIC means Bank Identifier Code. The IFS code structure it is like this. First four digits of this code they represent the bank name. So they are called bank code. The last six they represent the branch identification. So they are called branch code. And fifth one it is reserved for future use. It is kept as zero. IFS code is used for transactions in real time gross settlement that is RTGS as well as national electronic funds transfer that is NEFT operations in India. Now SWIFT code. SWIFT stands for Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication. SWIFT code is a standard format of BIC 
that is bank identifier code these codes are used to transfer money message between banks and these transfers are international transfers swift code represent 8 or 11 characters let us see the break up of these 11 characters first four characters represent the bank code these are only letters next two characters they represent the country code these are alpha next two characters they represent the location code they are in the form of letters and digits and lastly the last three characters they represent the branch code in letters and in digits so that is how swift code comprises 11 characters now after swift code we will see the bsr code banking statistical record code bsr code so bsr code is a seven digit code the first three digits identify the bank name and the last four digits they identify the branch name so it has two identifications one the bank name another is the branch name but we must remember the bsr code is not a payment routing code so it is not used in the payment systems so where it is used so it is used mainly for statistical information now cbs uniform account number the cbs uniform account number identifies the relationship between the bank and the customer there is no uniform pattern which indian banks are following for allotting this number each bank has devised its own structure and the length of the code the account number ranges from 9 to 18 digits some banks use branch code as part of the account number whereas other banks are having a running serial number without any pattern built into it so different banks follow their own discretion their own procedure for allotting cbs account numbers now international bank account number iban iban is an international code for identification of bank accounts across national borders that mean in different countries iban facilitates domestic as well as cross border interbank electronic payments iban is basically used in developed countries and for the time being not in india iban has iban has two parts let us see what these two parts are the first part has country code it has two characters then there is check digit it has two numeric characters then it bank id in four characters so first part it comprises eight digits the country code check digit and bank id second part consists of basic bank account number that is bban and this can be up to 26 characters in this way the total number of characters in iban can go up to 34 depending upon the bank concerned thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have been benefited thank you once again